the law of the Most High that is set before them. You know? And you're told you're not under the law. Or you're going to be partial to the law. It says, for there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Most High. That is set before them. For the Most High have given straight commandments to such as Cain what they should do to live. Even as they came and what they should observe to avoid punishment. The only way you want to avoid punishment is do what you're supposed to do to live. And live how? By the laws of the Most High. Well, you told us in 1 John 5 and 3, for this is the love of the Most High that we keep His commandments, and the commandments are not grievous. That's the love of the Most High. So, when you look at continuing in 2 Corinthians 7 and Twenty-two. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him, and imagined vain things. Because what we're we doing, we follow the way of the heathen, and the heathen are worshiping idols. Look, I mean, look at all the the, the crimes we have against each other. You know, killing each other. Rape, robbery, little children being sold as sex rings, and we part of it, Israelites part of it, doing all kind of crazy things. I heard all kind of stories that's crazy out of this world. That's all you want to talk about. That's why it says, continue. Nevertheless, they, verse 22, 2nd Edward 7 and 22. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things. Can you imagine speaking against the Most High? Yep. Yeah. Because people so wicked, they don't think the Most High going to deal with them. But when he, that's why he said that. Observe to avoid punishment. Observe his laws to avoid punishment. But when he start tapping that butt, then people start calling on him. He said, I ain't gonna hear you because you don't want to hear my messenger that he sent to bring forth this truth. And to see themselves, yeah, fool themselves by their wicked deeds, the things they were doing that was wicked. And said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. See? You might as well say he don't exist because these laws are his. And if you don't believe that his laws is true. You don't believe his ways, that's why I say you're going to perish. And he's going to punish you. That's why it says. Verse 24, but his law have they despised and denied his covenants. And his statutes have they not been faithful and have not performed his works. See? Some people are ordained to do certain things on a mission. Some people want you to do what they want you to do because they're not doing what he wants you to do. So you're going to follow them? They want you to go straight to hell with them? I don't think so. That's why you got to have your own mind because each one of us going to meet a Mashiach Galashai for the judgment alone. You ain't taking your daddy, your mama, your son, your daughter, your aunt, your uncle, your cousins, your nephews, your niece, you ain't taking nobody with you, but you're going to be there all alone. Understand this. Hmm. That's why a whole lot of things that the Most High, you know, Mashiach Yahweh has given us is contrary to the way this world is. Clearly contrary. Clearly, clearly contrary. So you look at Daniel's 9 and 11. 
Daniels 9 and 11. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing. See? Daniel's 9 11. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High, because we have sinned, which is the transgression of the law, against him. We sin against him. And he have confirmed his words. He have confirmed his words. You look at the condition that we in. Ghettos and slums. Our people are in bad shape. The worst thing that ever been. Since we so-called came out of captivity. Saying he have confirmed his words. Which he spake against us. And against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done as has been done upon Jerusalem, upon us. Mashak Elisha told us, man, this, these days are going to be crucial. That's why you go to Proverbs. You see, it's going to come a time when he start to visit you. If he haven't visited you as of yet, hopefully you'll get this before. You perish. The most I do what he says he's going to do is he's going to do it. Proverbs 1 24 said, Because I call and you refuse. He's calling you right now. And some of you refusing to hear this. Probably turn it off. Have you heard this? I'm out of here. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. He's stretching out his hand and nobody's paying attention. Mashiach Yahushai said in the Holy Spirit from the Most High, the Spirit of the Most High and people just nonchalantly going about their way and when he started to visit you, what you gonna do when he come for you? He coming with wrath and indignation what you gonna do then? That's why you gotta be ready, you gotta have a relationship with him, I'm telling you you can't wait till, it's, till that time Like, listen what he said. And I'm going to hold that. We're going to come back to Proverbs 124. It says in uh, Isaiah 66 and 4. Isaiah 66 and 4. It says, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. So he's calling you. A whole lot of you been called, and you don't want to answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. You hear that? You better hear what he's saying, people. This is a message and a warning to you to understand. Remember, he said, every word of the most high is pure. These words are pure words, whether you like it or not. Read it for yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory. So he's, he said, you think you're getting away with something? You're not getting away with nothing. You're not getting away with anything. None of us. No one. Look at... Uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus and Apocrypha, 23 and 19. It says, such a man only fear the eyes of men. See, a lot of you, you ain't nothing but men, please. You all looking at how somebody looking at you. You fear how a man looks at you. And know if not that the eyes of the Most High are 10,000 times brighter than the sun.
beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. You know, so you're not getting away with nothing. Nobody's getting away with anything. The most I have, his eyes are the angels. He was said it's 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Man, seeing all the, the most secret parts, right? See it all the most secret parts. The things that you're doing. You think you get away with something, you can get away with nothing. Believe you me. Please ask 1715. Their ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. You hear that? Everything that we do is before the most high shall not be hid from his eyes that are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Verse 19, therefore all their works are as the sun before him. So if your works are like the sun, he says his eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. He said everything that you're doing, 10,000 plus. <laughs> and his eyes are continually upon their ways. So he's looking at everything that we do. Going back to Proverbs 1, 24. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So he stretched out his hand, nobody regarded. But ye have set at naught, that means nothing, all my counsel. And with none of my reproof. Didn't want to be told what to do. Didn't want to have the instructions from the Most High. Didn't have the fear of the Most High. See, I also will laugh at your calamity. See, I'm going to laugh at you when he started to destroy you. When your calamity come upon you. See, I will also, see, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. Oh, yeah. When you start to get afraid, he said, he's going to be mocking you. <laughs> Look at him down there. Look at him down there. <laughs> Making fun of you. Start talking about you. When your fear cometh, he said, as the desolation, but he's going to take things from you. And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. And that's a lot of destruction. When distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me. Then you, whenever the most I start whooping that butt, then you want to call on them. Say, then will they call upon me? But I will not answer. He said, I ain't going to hear you. So I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So you're going to be calling on me. You bring that destruction, so you're gonna call on them. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the most high. There were none of my counsel. They didn't want to hear what he had to say. They despised all my reproof. You dip you in the fiery furnace of affliction to get your attention, and you still don't hear him. So I say he's gonna laugh at your calamity. When you call on him, he's gonna laugh at you, be mocking you. People think they're going to do whatever, they, that's why people do that, what they do. When something bad happens, they start calling on the most high. So you're going to laugh at you. See, for they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the most high. See, they were none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So he said, going to let you depend on what it is that you depend on without having to fear the most high. So you on your own. That's what he's saying. Your own devices is whatever you, however you think. Now you know the world say, follow your heart. So he's telling you, follow your heart. Follow what you need to follow. But don't call on me because I'm going to laugh at you when I start to destroy you and take everything from you. Let you, let you be, let your calamity come upon you. As a whirlwind, that's like a hurricane, a tornado. Oh yeah, going around in the circle, just taking up everything. You know how they do it. Wipe out everything. Because you didn't want to listen. That's why we gotta come, we gotta come to grips with ourselves and realize that he is the only way. He's the only way. We're gonna make it through this. Jeremiah, the seventh chapter. Jeremiah 7, 
and 4. Jeremiah 7 and 4. Jeremiah 7 and 4. It says, Trust ye not in lying words, saying, The temple of the Most High, the Baptist Church, the Catholic Church, Jehovah Witness Church, the temple of the Most High, Seventh day Adventist Church, Islam, the mosque, the temple of the Most High are these. No. No. Those lying words. That's why I say trust ye not in lying words. Verse 8. Jeremiah 7 and 8. Behold, ye trust in lying words that can.